Rail Clone 2.7 includes many new improvements to make it easier and more flexible when you want to update multiple objects from a master style. For example, here we have a building facade style that is duplicated and used with four additional and different shaped splines. It's important to note that we can't instance these objects because each version uses a different base spline. So, how do you update them all if you need to make a change? Well, fortunately, it's easy. If I make a change to the facade on the left, changing, for example, the height, you can then use the copy to multiple command found in the style rollout to update all of the other rail clone objects in just a couple of clicks. And this set of tools is actually quite sophisticated and can remember which parameters have been changed. For example, what if you want to amend the height of one or two buildings individually? Well, that's no problem because you can select each object and just edit the height parameter. And now, even if you go back to the master style and make a few edits, for example, changing the size of the top of the building, and then also editing the height again, then you can go through the same copy to multiple operation and you'll notice that only those parameters that have not been edited are updated. So only the unedited buildings use the new height, but all the buildings get the new size for the top section. So in this update, RailClone is able to remember which parameters have been changed and retain them, overwriting only the unchanged values from the source object. Even better, this works from the library too. If you've used the same library style in the scene multiple times, you can open the source file used in the library and make some changes. For example, in this case, I'm going to randomly open some windows. Then I'll go back to my scene and to update every object that uses this style, you need only to reload it once using any of the rail clone objects and all of them will be updated instantly. Additionally, updating multiple objects from the library also benefits from the ability to retain the values of any parameters that have been set locally, just like we saw earlier. With this improvement, we hope that using and updating multiple rail clone objects will be easier and faster than ever.